what we just need to do is basically just change that .xcr file extension name into that text. After doing that, we can open it and explore it in Notepad. And as we can see in here, we have all the data that we have in our created program. It's really remarkable how the columns and data are structured in a well-organized manner. And now, how can we have this in Excel as well? The usual method is just go to this data tab and use this default from text slash CSV option. Once we have clicked that, we can locate our file and double click it. A pop-up window will be displayed. However, you can see it's only displayed into five columns. We won't be able to explore the data properly, so we won't be using this option. What I will show you is how we can have all the columns by using this option. So just go to File, then Options, then Data, and select or take the From Text Legacy checkbox, and then press OK. After doing that, in the Get Data dropdown, we will now have this option, which is the Legacy Wizard and the From Text Legacy that we have just selected. Choose this option and then locate the file again and a pop-up window will be displayed. Just select the limited, the default option selected, then press next. So the delimit first is just tab and then we can click finish. We don't need to go to step three. And another pop-up window will be displayed and just make sure that cell A1 is selected. So your data will be loaded in the upper leftmost corner of your file. So press OK. After a few seconds, we now have the data with all the columns. And as we can see, we have all the 84 columns of that XCR file. We can use this approach to generate any reports that we want or include additional information in our program since the data are organized in a standardized structure. Watch out for the next post for the detailed video on how to do these bulk imports. Thanks for watching.